Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful 3D flower earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you will be able to make them by yourself even if you are a beginner. In the basis of these earrings is a really simple flower that I showed so many times and then what I do is that I add this edge. It's really easy to be added and the effect is so cool. Uh, these are from regular flowers, they turn into 3D flowers. So if you like what I'm showing you here, subscribe with the bell. If you still haven't, like, share and comment this video. You help me in this way so much and you make me continue to do more and more free tutorials for you. Check description for useful resources and see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five Peyote Stitch videos and other perks that you could check in the link in description. The membership is less than $5 per month and you could start and cancel anytime, so you could check it out. And now guys, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 ounce seed beads. I use white, light pink, dark pink, red and black. Here I'm also using earring findings. Two beads, three millimeter pearls in this gray color. Here I'm using nylon nylon thread that is 0 0.3 millimeters, which is size D. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 if you want. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step, I'm going to pick up a white and a pink bead. Then again, a white and a pink. And I'm going to repeat this until I have six white and six pink beads. Okay guys, and now I have 12 beads in total. Six white and six pink beads, light pink beads. And I'm going to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice or even three times through this loop I've made, then I pull. Then what I want to do is to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And uh, it's better to do this in this way you won't have any problems later. Okay, now I'm going through the white and through one of my pink beads. Then in my next step, I'm going to take five pink beads. And as I'm exiting through one of the pinks, I'm skipping the white bead and I'm going through the following pink. Now I have this and I'm going to repeat this. Okay, I have here my five beads, skip the white one and go through the pink. Okay, five pink, skip the white one and go through the pink. Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this three more times. Okay, and I have my pink here on my needle and I skip the white one and I go through the following pink. It, this is the first pink that I started my row from, this one here. And when I'm adding the last loop of beads, I'm going through it as well. Okay, I'm going here. And now in my next step, what I want to do 
is go through two of these five beads that I added in my previous row. And I'm going to take five more dark pink beads and I skip the middle light pink bead just like this and I pull. In my next step I'm taking a black one and I'm going in the second pink of these five that I added. So I'm going through this one. And this is just next to the bead that is sticking out the most or the middle of the five beads. Okay, now I have this. I need five dark pink beads. Skip the central one of the five beads or the one that is sticking out the most and pull a black bead and go in the same place. just to the one next to the one that is sticking out the most or the middle of the five beads. Okay, five dark pink. Skip the central one and go through the following and take just one black bead and go in the same place. Okay. Now Repeat this until the end of this row. Okay guys and now I'm here at my last black bead and I need to go here in the same place through the pink bead that is next to the top bead. Don't make the mistake to go through one of the dark pink beads. Okay, now I have this. In my next step what I do is that I go through two dark pink beads. Here I need another five dark pink beads and I skip here the central one. Go through the following. This is similar to what I was doing in my previous steps. Take pink black pink and go in the second of those dark pink beads like this or next to the one that's sticking out the most, which is the central one. Take five again, skip the central one and go through the following. Take pink, black, pink and go here in the second pink bead counting, dark pink bead counting from the center. Okay, five and skip the one that's in the center like this and three again, pink, black, pink, go here next to the one that's sticking out. Okay, and I'm sure if you have done everything up to here, you'll be able to make this part by yourself. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat this part from here and I'll meet you at this side. Okay guys and here I am at my last step of this row and I want to go in the same place through the second dark pink bead counting from the center. Okay and with this my row is ready. Now what I do is that I go through the following two pink beads in this direction. Then I'm going to take five red beads. Okay, I have my five red beads here. I skip the central one and I go through the following. Okay, then in my next step, I need three dark pink beads. Okay, three. And I go through this central black one.
three, go to the one through the one which is next to the top, five, and skip the central one and go through the following. Three pink, go in the black one, three pink again, go in the one that is next to the sticky outie, five, and go here. And I will continue the same thing until the end. Three, three, five, three, three, five. And when I'm ready, I'll meet you here, guys. Okay, guys. And here I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I add them at the same place through this pink bead that is next to the one that is sticking out the most or the middle of the five I added in my previous row. Now, what I want to do is go in this direction and I'm going now in this step through four beads. Okay. Then what I need is to take three red beads and I go here in the central of the three pink beads that I added in my previous row, the central one of them, or the second counting from here, and I need one black bead, and I'm also going in the central pink bead, or the one that is sticking out, okay, like this. Then what I need to add here are three dark red beads, red beads, and I'm going through the second one here again, and then through the next two. So I'm going through these top three red beads, three again. And I go in the middle pink again. One black. Go in the pink one. That is the central of the tree. Three. And go through the top three beads here. Of the five. That I have. Okay. Go through these. Three again, okay, three, central pink, and a black one. And continue these guys and I'll meet you here when the flower is ready. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm going in the same place, one red bead away before this one that is sticking out the most, the central one. And now what I want to do is go through all of the red beads here, reaching this red one. Now guys, what I want to do is reach this pink bead here in the center. Okay, I'm exiting out of this pink which is in the basis of this petal and is next to the white one. And what I'm going to pick up are two whites, two light pinks, two dark pinks and two reds. And these are eight beads in total. And I'm going here through the red one, through the first red after the pink ones. 
and I pull. Okay. Then I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. And my goal, guys, is to exit out of this red bead, which is next to the pinks, the last one, which is next to the pinks. And what I need to take here are eight beads, two red, two dark pink, two light pink and two white. And what I want to do is go in this pink, which is after the white one and in this direction. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going to take the same sequence, but the other way around, starting from the whites. Okay, I have this sequence. And what I want to do is go through the first red one here. You see the first thread after the pink ones. Okay, I have this. Then what I want to do is go through all of those red ones here. reach the end of the red beads and take the same sequence but the other way around starting from the reds because here I start from the reds and here I start from the whites that is why I'm changing directions I'm changing directions of how I pick up the beads two reds, two dark pink, two light pink and two white and go in the pink one Okay. Then I start from the white, pick up the sequence, go in the red, go through all of the reds at the end of the reds, pick the same sequence from the reds and then go here in the pink one. Then again and again, if you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, repeat these steps and meet me here at the other side. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last sequence. And I go through this pink bead in this direction. Okay, and I pull. And now it's time to add a bead in the center. It's not obligatory, but I prefer to add it. I take this bead here, 3 millimeter. And as I'm exiting through this pink bead, I go through the opposite pink. Okay. And I pull. Then after I added this one, I want to reinforce it. That is why I go in this direction. Reach again the hole of my bead and go one more time through it. And then one of the beads after that okay now I have this and you could stop up to here but I want to do an additional step that is not obligatory but I'll do this anyway I want to go through this white that is in the basis of my petal and I want to connect the two bottom white beads of my petal. In this way this goes a little bit more to the center of my work. Okay, I reinforce them like this. As I said it's not obligatory but I prefer to do this. Okay, I'll show you one more time how I'm doing this. I want to go here in the next two white beads. Okay, you see, and I pull, then again through the whites, and one more time in order to connect them. And this is what I do until the end of this row. 
I mean if you decide to make this step. Okay, and I'll do this off camera until the end and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I just connected my last two white beads from this row. And what I'm doing now is that I want to go in this direction and reach the middle red one of my petal. And this one here is the middle red one, which is sticking out the most. And I want to take a white, a light pink and a dark pink. Then I'm going to take my earring finding, but you see in this direction, because this is the front of my earring and this is the back, although the back also looks good. I prefer this to be the front and uh, I want to attach my earring finding. So this will be the front. So think how you attach it. Okay. I want this to add this sequence then I will add this sequence again but this time the other way around okay I have this sequence again and I'm going backwards through this bit that is sticking out the most the central one so when I pull I have this here now what I want to do is reinforce this joint here Okay, I have it reinforced and now what I want to do is find a place to make a knot. Okay, and as I'm here making a loop and I'm going once then I'm going a second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and pull. Then you could repeat this knot several more times. When you're ready, go through the following beads and cut your thread. Okay. And your 3D flower beaded earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my 3D flower seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make similar absolutely free videos and you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. Down there in description, you will see useful resources, full list of materials, link for PayPal donations, link to my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And uh, you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now is a course of five videos with Peyote Stitch. Now, Click on the tutorial that you see on your screens to continue watching.